Hello and welcome back. Recently, I did a short video on how to create a glow effect. As per request, here is the full tutorial. So, the idea is to have this butterfly glow. First, I will start with making a selection of the butterfly by using the selection brush tool. With a big brush, I select the rough area. And to finish up the selection, I will zoom in and select the finer details with a smaller brush. Remember, you can adjust your brush size with the square bracket keys. To finish up the selection, I'll press the Refine button from the toolbar. This will open up the Refine dialog. Here, I can refine my selection to my liking. Sometimes it is difficult to see what exactly has been selected. By changing the preview to white, for example, you can check how the selection looks on a white background, allowing you to spot issues with your selection. I think this is pretty good. I will set the output to new layer with mask and then press apply. This will create a new layer of our original layer and apply a mask so the selection is only visible. As you notice, it also disables the original layer, but we can easily enable it back. Perfect. As I will be applying effects to this butterfly later on, I need it to be a non-masked layer. For this reason, I'm going to duplicate it, so I have a backup in case I would need to change the mask, and then I'm going to hide this backup layer. To get rid of the mask, I will use the Rasterize and Trim function by right-clicking on it in the Layers panel. Excellent! Now we have a nice layer with only the butterfly. Let me move it around so we can see our butterfly flying around. This was the hard work. But before starting making glows, one final step is to darken the background, so that the glow we will be creating later has a stronger effect. Let's disable the butterfly for the time being. To darken the background, I'm going to use an HSL adjustment, which I will add just above the background layer, so it will only apply to the background. In the HSL dialog, I will select a color so that the picker becomes available. Now, with the picker, I will select the color of the background, which is this yellow-greenish color. We can now adjust the sliders to get a darker tone of that color. One of the reasons why I used an HSL is that I did not want to darken the white flowers. By using the HSL adjustment, we can target the colors we want to darken. This looks about right. Let me enable the butterfly to see the contrast. Great, but I feel like we can darken a bit more. To do that, I will set the blend mode of the HSL adjustment to multiply. This really darkens the background and makes it more dramatic. Exactly what I was looking for. Here is how we started. And this is when the HSL is applied in multiply mode. Quite a difference. Okay, time for the fun part. Adding the glow. In order to add glow, I'm going to add an empty pixel layer by using the new pixel layer button in the channels panel. This pixel layer will need to be filled in with black. So let's do that with the fill tool and selecting black as our color. If we now set the blend mode of this pixel layer to color dodge, it will become invisible. In color dodge, black is ignored and white makes the color stronger. So we can now paint it with white on this layer. I will select the brush tool and use a very low flow, around 7 to 10. Keep in mind that your hardness should also be set to 0%. Now let's make the brush bigger, around the size the glow we are aiming for. Tap a couple of times and you already notice the glow coming up. After a couple of taps, make the brush a bit smaller. Just paint in the glow as you desire. Don't worry about the butterfly getting super bright. As you remember, we have a copy of it, which we can enable on top of it. Let's have a look at the result. Not bad. Now the glow is behind the butterfly and it doesn't really look like the butterfly is the source of the glow. So to make it more convincing, 
Let's add an outer glow to the butterfly by switching to the FX panel and enabling the outer glow. When we enable the outer glow, we can increase the radius until we have a nice convincing glow. The color is not in sync, but we can easily select a color that makes more sense. Excellent, that looks pretty amazing. If you look closely, you notice we have some banding in the glow. Let me zoom in so you can see that much better. This is because I used a low opacity brush and tapped multiple times, which generated multiple levels of opacity. To get rid of the banding, I will just add a Gaussian blur to the pixel layer where we painted the glow. Just increase the radius until the banding is gone and we have a nice smooth glow. Excellent! And we have a glowing butterfly. Here are two more tips to make it more convincing. First tip is to add shine to other objects the glow is shining to. In our case, the flowers. So I will add a pixel layer and select the brush. Before painting, let's select the color of the shine from the glow. If I now paint with a low flow brush, I can gradually paint in the shine in the flowers. To make sure the shine only applies to light areas, I will open up the blend ranges and lower the effect on the shadows. To dim down the shine, I'm also going to lower the highlights a bit. Perfect. Let's finish up the remaining shine on the flower. I feel that the shine is a bit too much, but we can control the opacity to get a correct balance of light. Let's have a look at the before. And this is what we have so far. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now, the second tip is to make the shine really convincing. Even though everything looks amazing, you feel that the butterfly is too sharp for something emitting light. It needs to have some glow on top. So let's do that. Let's duplicate the butterfly and turn off the outer glow effect as we will not be needing that. To bring glow to the butterfly, I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to the duplicated butterfly. We need to really crank up the radius until we get this blur on top of the butterfly. This looks much better. Let's see the difference by turning it off and on. The glow definitely helped. And to make it really amazing, I will change the blend mode to screen. Now we get this perfect result where the butterfly is really glowing. If I disable and enable the layer, you see how much difference that makes in making it more convincing. Before leaving you, let's have a look at what we started with. And what we ended with. Pretty amazing, isn't it? I hope you liked this video. Also a reminder for all of you there, for the future, if you see a YouTube Shorts video of mine and you would like to see a full tutorial, just let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.